good? Yeah, sorry. She gets her elbow down, and I'm not able to grab it. So she's got it tucked underneath. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shift. Since my arm's already over, over her neck here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a reverse queso. Now I can put my hip close to her body and spread her elbow out like this and scoop my hip back. So I can, I can move this elbow out of the way just by using my hips and like butt scoop back, okay? So here, she gets the elbow down, I switch, and I'm getting close to her hip and I'm opening it up. If it doesn't go the first time, do it again. I can even use my knee. I can come from reverse cases, slide it open, and then set my hip back down and slide it up. Okay? Another thing is good, good to do in this position, when you get this arm out, so let's go back to the first one. Grab it, I switch. When I get this out, okay, go underneath the head here, Lock the shoulder, hold the armpit. This makes it very difficult to come out also. Yeah, that's trash. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. I know, it feels like helpless. Okay. The same thing as what we did last night, right? So I'm just cupping underneath the arm and I'm bringing it to me. And there's not really a whole lot that she can do in this position. And if you're in MMA, this is a good position to have. Yep, please. Uh, All right. Is there any submission? What submissions? You would knock them out. <laughs> Submission by punches. Well, if I have the arm here. I'm tapping already because that's going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've already got a trap to my body. So you've got a lot of here. But the main thing is control. So we're going over this stuff and keeping side control because we want it to stay on top. We don't want our opponents to escape this position. So once they try to escape the position, they won't want to recover it, right? So, let's go for escapes. So, standard escape. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, my arms are up. So, when I escape, recompose the guard. My feet come out, I move my hip, so that way I can get this elbow down. I block this hip, this hand goes to my chest, comes up underneath the chin, and grabs the shoulder. Now, I move my feet out, I bridge up into her, I shrimp. Now my bottom knee comes in across the hips, my head moves around, and I trap her here, okay? Grab the wrist, put my foot down, shrimp out, and bring it back in my guard, right? Okay? So I want you guys to do that one, and if she's got side control on me here and she's got her arm on the other side of my hip blocking it, it's a little bit different. So the first part of that's the same. I'm going to move my hips out, bring my elbow down, bring my hand, my hand comes up underneath, here. Now this time whenever I bridge up, I bridge up into her. I'm going to grab her wrist and I'm going to bring it up to my, my uh, chest and up to my neck if I can. But a lot of times you can only hold it to your chest. Now, my knee is not going to go across the hips. It's going to go right underneath the armpit. And then my other leg is going to come over. Clamp down, push over, scoot up, take the arm. Okay? So what Samantha was just saying is a lot of times. Can you point your head over here? Like you can see. Can you walk around? <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, it, it takes more than one shrimp in order to get enough space to do this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and here, move out, bridge up, shrimp. She starts to follow me. I'm gonna shrimp more until I get enough space. The whole time I'm, I've got my hands out. Once I have enough space, now I come in. Okay? I don't want to be completely disconnected. Um, I'm banking on them coming in and forcing their way in, trying to get the side control back. So as they're coming in, I shrimp, shrimp, and come in. 
Okay? Everybody got it? Okay, great.